and we are recording. We are? Yeah, we are recording. We are. Oh my god, right I'm now. already getting camera shy. You tell me that now, as we just got here, what we do, like a 30 minute drive and 20 minute walk here, you tell me you're camera shy now? Hmm. Well, of course, we're talking to your massive base of subscribers, so I should say something really inappropriate, I don't right? I'm not that massive. Oh, okay. They will be. All right. So, hello, this is Blue Hassan. Now that I'm here. Yes, you're here. This is Silver. We are doing. You are sweet. You're too sweet. You're... We are here with this very sweet maned wolf. Not a fox. Don't call him fox. He is a maned wolf. Uh huh. And we are here where we're at? Where Gasworks we're at? Park. Gasworks Park. And we are going to get some photo shoots right here. Water Edge at the Industrial Park. Um, what do you call that? What was that thing? It's a place where they um, funnel all the. We don't need to party. I wasn't going to make that joke. You did. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this photos. I will be showing the photos in real time as I film this on my GoPro. Catch you We're guys already play. off to a great start. Yeah. Fart jokes, great. <laughs> you started it. No, you asked. All right, let's get you back over here. Okay. Let's have your back towards this uh, railing mm -hmm. and have you face me. Let's go to manual mode. Oh, I don't want to take a photo yet. No, no, no. Okay, let's get this focus correct. Auto focus. There we go, tracking. Let's see. Let's get a little faster shutter. See if you get that ne the uh, space needle. It's no, well, it's too out of focus at the moment. Up the. I'm just adjusting the aperture to try to get the space needle into the photo better. The aperture is the. Um, I do need it. No, you cannot eat the aperture. Oh my God. Are you you're gonna are you gonna be like this all day? <laughs> That's it, I'm calling F stop from now on. What? How did that thing fly? I'll explain that to you later. Okay. Oh, look, there's a man on the water. Yeah. There's a man on the water. Yeah. So these next two photos I'm going to share were taken after the photo shoot was done. Uh, Silver asked if we could have some extra time at the waterfront because he really liked the Seattle backdrop. But unfortunately, my GoPro has died at the point, so I was out of GoPro battery. I also want to say 
the Seattle backdrop was probably the hardest photos I took of the day. Just because of the bright sun and the distance, it really, really made the background really bright. And so the post process was a really long process in getting everything balanced better into the final photo. But unfortunately, um, you know, if it's not taken correctly at the location, there's not much you can do after the fact. And so I did my best that I could with post processing but every photo shoot is always a learning experience for me. All right, let's go to the next. <laughs> what? I think you made her laugh. Why, I'm not that funny. <laughs> you made me laugh too. Oh, okay. Okay, I let's promise, it's just a flop. All right, let's go to our next location. Uh, do you want to sit on that? Uh, Cement block? Okay. I'm gonna put my case here. Yeah, if you just wanna sit on there. Towards, look towards that sign. Okay, I'm gonna do a lens swap now. So I'm now taking my 85 lens off and I'm popping on my 70 to 200 because when you zoom in or use a zoom lens for portraits, especially at 200, what it does, it also helps suck in or bring in the background closer to the subject. So those buildings off in the distance will appear a lot closer. And I'm hoping to get uh, the Space Needle uh, to be a little bit larger in uh, some of the photos here. Let's, now let's try with aperture maximum open. Let's see how that looks. And again, with using Seattle as the backdrop, with the haze and how bright it was, it was just really difficult to get these shots done well. And I'm actually pretty happy with how they did eventually come out in post-processing. Okay, all right, let's get up. All ready? Yeah, let's get up. Swap time. Which lens should I use? Um, the sexy one. <laughs> They're all kind of sexy. I mean, that's true. So I have my 35 now on. Let's lock that up so I don't pick it up and make everything spill out. Turn the camera on. Oh my gosh. Don't spill things. Okay, let's. He's working on it for Zoom. Let's have you over here. Let's have you sitting right here. Bird? No, on the sidewalk. Okay. Oh, you just set the bird poop. I did? Yeah. Oh, all right. No, oh, well. All right, let's see. Let's get this. Let's go to auto. There was just so much bird poop on the ground everywhere that it was just unavoidable to step in it from time to time. Getting, the sun right now is giving really good light. Are you making my eyes look weird? No, you're just getting really good light. 
sometimes it does that. Now I'm going to up the aperture, which will make the background more in focus. Heavy judgment. All right, so let's have you look towards the sun. Okay. Feet two, position your feet towards the sun. Step forward a bit so you're off the grass. No, 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 uh, towards me, I mean. There you go. And then position whole body towards the sun. Now twist your shoulders towards me. There you go. That's a much better pose angle. Okay, we've got... Okay, the ship is too much in focus now. Let's see how that looks. And a little more aperture. Okay, oh, now it's too bright. Drop the ISO, which is always better. And I'm going to do what's called the walk around. Now look to your right. Because who knows, there could be a really cool angle with this, one of these shots. So we've now walked from where the shipyard right, was, and we are walking towards the front of the park. And this little spot I eyed from the beginning where the tree limbs were lining low. And so now I'm going to get Silver injected into these trees, and we're going to pose him like he's in the woods, even though we're in a park in a major city. We're going to play around here a bit. I want you to stand in between these two branches. Mm, okay. Uh, go back further, a little like another half a foot. And I want you to pretend, I want you to put your paw right here, no other paw, and hold it up. Now push it aside, push this one right here, grab that one, and pretend. Here, I'll kind of show you, step out. I'll kind of guide you how I want you to pose. Uh, does this kind of look like I'm walking out? Like I'm, I just got out of the woods and I'm kind of looking out? Oh, I mean, if you want that predator emerging yeah. from the, the bush. Yes. I can try that. So kind of like this, so you're lifting, the, you're getting the bush out of the way, you're pushing this one out of the way, and you're coming out, and with the lean forward, because oh, okay. you're a stalker. Okay, whoa, okay, I gotta fix my lights. Uh, yeah, look that, the way you're looking at, look that way. Can you open your mouth a bit? Nose up. Tilt head. Alrighty. Now let's do over here. I want you to stand right between these. Okay. Uh, this one, I don't want you to touch the leaves, the branches that much. Uh, step forward a little more. And kneel a little. Lean forward. Let's go. Let's go. Like that, there we go. Oh, don't knock my case over. Oh, this is this is real beautiful right here. Oh, those are gorgeous. Alrighty, let's relax. Let's have you, we're gonna relocate. I've always wanted to do photos in a pathway full of forest leaves, 
and trees on each side. And, and this spot right here, leaves, pathway, and trees everywhere. All right, let's have you stand here. Okay. Okay, let's get this focus. Oh, let's get back further. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do a lens swap, so you can rest. Okay, face me. So as we were leaving this foresty path area, so we came across this large path. puddle, You're but my first thought puddle. was to make sure Silver avoided it. You know, we don't want the pursuiter to walk in the muddy water, but then it hit me. You know what? Let's get some reflection shots. So I got Silver lined up on the other side of the large puddle. I went to the other side Stand and here. we'll see the results. A little further. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, face this way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see how low I can go. Let's see. Oh my god. That water reflection's really nice. Keep there, keep there. Endure the pain. Getting in focus. So as we were walking back from the puddle spot, we had to go over this little tiny hill to get back in the park area. And inspiration just struck me to put silver on the top of this little hill. And I would be down a little lower so we would get a shot where the subject is a little higher. And so perspective is a huge matter when taking photography because different angles really add a lot of character to the photo. When I take photos, I always usually end up in some really odd angle. And this time I was leaning on my back on the ground. <laughs> That's why the camera is pointed to the sky. But I eventually notice and I will get that camera up right. Oh. You guys are facing the sky. Okay. Okay, rest. 
So the last location before my GoPro batteries dies was at the okay. cement pylons or pillars, here. arches, whatever we want to call them. They were a point of interest that I wanted to take um, Silver to get photos at. And the, the kids seemed to enjoy the show as we <laughs> were so taking the photos. Put your tushy here. Get in focus. Look towards the camera, head tilt. Okay, let's get this. Where's my focus? Okay. Um, okay, we're gonna move. I think after this, I'm, I'm tired myself. So at this point of the photo shoot, my GoPro has died, but thankfully this was our last location. As we were walking back to the car, uh, Silver and I spotted this field off to the side behind the bathrooms of all places. And there was this beautiful tree with low lying leaves and the lawn was just covered in the leaves and it just made for a wonderful location to take some portrait shots of the handsome maned wolf. Recording. We are. Yeah, we are recording. Again? Yeah, we are recording. We're we're actually having other people. We're getting other people take our photos. How many times are you gonna do this to me, Dad? I don't know. How many times will I do it to you, Fox? <sighs> yeah, I too can play at that game. <laughs> okay. Smile. For the record, he's completely wrong about that. I'm no, a no, no. wolf, and I'm the best kind of wolf, and all the other wolves and are merely for invitations. I am not a daddy. Do not. I. I'm not a daddy. But we are now finished. We just had a wonderful day walking around at Gas Works Park. Did I say it right? You did. Okay, good. I don't usually say things correctly. We had a wonderful day. My GoPro ran out of battery. We were here for so long. I hope you... <laughs> I also had to deal with this silly, silly, silly maned wolf. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> God. I'm hungry. We are going to KFC. You want some KFC? For the dozen time, KFC is not the same thing as a hot fresh goose. Okay, how about some pancakes? We're gonna have give, we're gonna feed them some pancakes right now. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys enjoyed the photos. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing this, and I until next time. Thank you. Bye. I want to say thank you again to everyone who supports me on my coffee. It is a huge help that goes to pay off uh, all my camera equipment. Uh, a lot of my first two photo shoots in the past haven't been for free, but even now that I'm starting to charge for photo shoots, I still do it at very low cost for first shooters, um, and often it doesn't even cover my uh, subscription fees for all the software I use. So every donation really is a huge help to help cover my camera gear, my subscriptions costs I have that has to do with all the photography I do for all you fuzzy first shooters. Also, if you are not able to support me on coffee, just helping spreading my work is a huge help. Retweeting my tweets are free, doesn't cost you anything, or give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram. I appreciate all the support on my social media. 